You've probably heard about the garden pruning rule of how you shouldn't remove more than one-third of a plant at any one pruning. Well, this is a good general rule to follow because it keeps us from removing too much growth whenever we shear hedges or size down a plant. Well, however, there is a type of drastic pruning that we can do to certain shrubs and even a few trees that will bring about good results. It's called coppice pruning or stumping, and it's actually been practiced in Europe for many, many years. And I'm talking about the process where you come in and you cut back the entire plant near the ground, and you just leave the stump or stumps at about three to six inches tall. Well, when you severely prune a shrub back like that, it will respond with some vigorous regrowth, and the foliage will be a lot bolder, there will be more prolific flowering and fruiting, and that's because you'll have a lot more of those stems to produce those flowers. Also, it's a good way to keep these shrubs at a smaller size. Uh, when you do this to some of these shrubs, they can actually be planted with your perennials, and you can have uh, several of these shrubs in your perennial border. If a plant has variegated foliage and it's cut back like this, the variegation will be a lot more intense and it'll be a lot more brighter in the garden. And this is particularly the case with the golden or the variegated elderberries or sambucus. We see a lot of people that will coppice prune the purple smoke tree. And in a sense, you're just taking the tree and turning it into a shrub. Uh, just cutting it back every year and the purple foliage is really, really intense. Likewise, some of the shrubs that get really tall and bloom up at the top and have the flowers where you don't really get to see them that much, by cutting them back like this, you can bring those flowers down to a more enjoyable level. Well, I'm going to coppice prune this beauty berry right here. And if you'll remember, this is the shrub that has the really nice clusters of purple berries all along the stems in the fall. So I'm just going to take my saw and pruners and start cutting away here. Well, on your screen right now, you can see a list of plants that can be coppice pruned. And the number one thing that these plants have in common is that they all bloom on new wood. We uh, want to make sure that the plants are some of those that bloom on new wood because we wouldn't want to do this to something like a, a forsythia or perhaps the lilac or something like that because they bloom on old wood and we would be cutting away all the blooms. Occasionally, we'll do this type of pruning to our crepe myrtles and our butterfly bushes in our garden, but we don't really think about it as coppice pruning. As you know, if we have a, a really cold winter, our butterfly bushes and our uh, crepe myrtles will freeze to the ground, and then the proper way to, uh, to manage those would be to uh, cut all the dead growth off or cut them to the ground anyway. So in a sense, we're coppice pruning those plants. And if you have ever done that to a crepe myrtle or a butterfly bush, you know that uh, you do get really good results. The plants will, will sprout out from the, from the base of the plant, and they'll perform really good that, that, that very same year. They'll, they'll grow really well and uh, flower for you that very same summer. But we'll just continue to cut back these stems of this beauty berry here. I'd like to thank Laura, our studio garden manager, for her assistance, helping us get these stems out of the way. Okay, there we go. Another type of plant that you wouldn't want to coppice prune would be any grafted plant. And if you coppice prune a grafted plant, there's a possibility that you could cut off the plant below that graft union and then you would pretty much lose the plant that you bought, the whole reason you bought the plant. Also, even if you did leave the graft union, the regrowth from the rootstock would be more vigorous than what would regenerate from the grafted part and you'd still end up losing the plant. The ideal time 
that you want to cut back or coppice prune your plants would be in the springtime. And the time that's actually recommended is right before the plants start to leaf out and also right before, or right after all our severe cold weather has passed. Well, here in Oklahoma, we don't always get a period like that. And that's because in March, a lot of the time, we'll have some warm weather that will come in and the, the plants will break bud and they'll start to grow a little bit. Then we, we still have those really bitter cold fronts that come through. So what I recommend is just to uh, cut them back in the springtime, maybe towards the end of March or the early part of April before the plants really get growing too much. Well, as you can see here, we've left these, these stumps about three to six inches tall. And you can see also that there were a few uh, dead stems in here as well. But uh, a lot of these plants will re regrow the uh, new stems from below ground parts, but it's also a good idea to leave a few existing buds like we've done here with these stumps or these stobs. Also, when you're cutting these back, you want to make sure that the plants have been established in the garden for about two seasons and also make sure that uh, they're, they're in good healthy condition before you cut them back. If a plant is struggling just to stay alive, we don't want to come out and just whack it to the ground. That would probably be the end of the plant. And also if you want to cut back some of the trees like the, uh, the smoke trees or the mimosa, it's a good idea to do those after the second or third year. You don't want them to grow too long as a single trunk specimen. I would hesitate cutting back any tree that was a single trunk and had a diameter of more than six inches. There's just a chance that you could lose the tree. Well, if you have some of these plants in your garden, and we've got the list there back up on the screen, uh, and you want to coppice prune them, remember to, to do it in the springtime. You don't want to do it in the summer when the plants are struggling with the heat and uh, the lower rainfall amounts. Also, we don't want to do it towards the fall, right before the cold winter weather gets here. Make sure again that it is a plant on the list, one that blooms on new wood. Don't do any grafted plants. And then once you do it, uh, make sure and take really good care of the plant. Keep an eye on it. We're gonna bring some mulch in here and we'll make sure that the, uh, the, the new growth that grows back is well watered when it's dry. And that way we should get the results we want. And we'll come back a little bit later and see how this beautyberry likes being coppice pruned. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.